to raise the roof and have some fun. Throw away the work to be done. And let the music play on. All night long. We know what we can do. And we know what we can be. All night long. Let's get this thing going. AJ Brown again. You gotta let the big dogs eat. Let's go. Let's go. All night long. Put on the show today, bro. McLaurin to fight for it at the one. What a catch by McLaurin. Oh, yeah. What a night for Eagles fans. You can feel the year. Well, Nick Sirianni and really his entire staff has been outstanding. And not just this year. Of course, that run they had last year that took them all the way into the postseason. But he's been outstanding. Of course, it helps when your quarterback, Jalen Hurts, has been playing at the level that he's been playing. It is impressive from the growth that he has shown from last year and getting the ball out and doing a lot of things in that area. Of course, the other side of the ball that really does not get talked enough about, in my opinion, is the defense and defensive coordinator Jonathan Gannon in his second season as a defensive coordinator. They do what good defenses do. They get after the quarterback, they take the ball away, and they don't give up big plays. And they got after this Washington team week three if pressure with a four-man rush, and that's what they'll be looking to do again tonight. What a year it's been for the Washington Commanders. There have been more investigations than you can even count into improprieties by the organization. So that's all ongoing. And head coach Ron Rivera has had to be football coach and kind of protector for his players from all that's gone on around this organization. For a long time. And I think Ron Rivera has done uh, about as good a job as anybody could expect. They'd started off the year very tough. They got on a nice little run. They had won three games in a row coming off a difficult loss last week. But Taylor Heineke has been a big part of that. And he has really rallied this entire locker room. He's a fan favorite. He's a bit of a high wire act when you watch him. There's a lot of good things he does. There's some things that you'd like to have back, but he's exciting to watch and he gives this team a chance to win games. Yeah, it's a good old fashioned NFC East battle here tonight, getting set for the Commanders and Eagles with a special tribute to America and our nation's veterans. Coming up next here, here on go, ESPN. Man. Here we go on the show today, bro. Philadelphia Eagles undefeated. Touchdown! We damn good. We are more machines. We are because we feel when everything goes down. It is how we go. We are more than a dream. And all who are still serving. Give it everything you've got. Or Monday. Night football. Da 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 da. <laughs> Man, that is just beautiful. You take the moment. You take your belly the moment. And it is AJ Brown again. That's all we all been waiting for. We're gonna set the tone today. We're gonna set the tone. Tony Gibson. Toe tap. Touchdown. Mellow made it right. right. Fighting for the end zone. What a run. It's caught. Touchdown. Oh, my God. Big play slay. Touchdown. Unbelievable. Is 8-0 and too good to be true? How long can perfection last? We find out tonight with Jalen and the Birds on Monday Night Football. Let's go. It's the fun part. Put on the show today, bro. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Eagles won the toss, they defer. Commanders get the ball to start the night. And the defense that Troy talked about in our opening will be on display for Jonathan Gannon and these Eagle fans who are loving what they're seeing from Nick Sirianni's team. Have to wait a little while to watch